This is a short video to show you how to add public safety symbology to your web maps. Uh, you'll see here there's a variety of symbols on the map, and what we'd like to do is make some of them reflect uh, some more commonly used symbols in public safety. To do this, there's a couple of options. We'll start with, uh, for instance, this evacuation center layer. We'll choose options, symbols, and then within ArcGIS Online already, there are some emergency management symbols. And you can see here uh, evacuation centers, and it looks like you could color code your internal maps by uh, closed or open shelters. But I think uh, for the public, they should just be notified of ones that are open. Another way you can change the symbols is using an image. And so depending on the cartography or your map, you might want something that's uh, flat and maybe white so that it stands out on your map and you want to use familiar symbols. This is the NAPSIG symbology library, which you can navigate as I showed you here, just by typing in what you're looking for or scrolling through the symbol sets. These can be downloaded for ArcMap or, uh, or your ArcGIS Pro, but you can also just use them right here on the web, which is what I'm going to do. So what I'd like to do here is grab this uh, national shelter system symbol right click, copy the image address. Make sure that's really important so that you can actually grab the URL that will make the image show up. Go back to your web map and this time use an image. It's a little bit tricky, but you have to click on the little plus sign here. And I think these symbols show up best somewhere between 24 and 28, depending on uh, how many symbols you have on your map. And now the evacuation centers, uh, especially on imagery or uh, other base maps, uh, stand out pretty well. Maybe I'll make it a little bit bigger. And let's do one more. I see, uh, looks like fire stations on the map. I can come back to my symbol library. Type in fire and we'll see what comes up. And in this case, we're looking for infrastructure, and infrastructures using the standard symbology approach are generally rectangles. And I'll right click and grab that URL again, and I'll come back to my uh, fire stations, show location only, options, click on symbols, use an image, and you can see here it's cached some of the ones I've used before. Come over here. And we'll make this one 28. Okay, so we're starting to make some progress here and see some common themes in our symbols. Why don't we do one more? Uh, how about this roadblock symbol? So this is a step that takes a few minutes, but I think that if you have your map set up in advance of disaster, it'll be that much easier. And um, for a lot of the public, these are symbols that I think will uh, they won't even need a legend to understand what it is they're looking at. All right, thank you very much for watching. Just a quick video. Uh, I'll paste the URL to this NAPSIG symbology library into the video comments. Thanks for watching.